Pinot Gris sort of has that nice sweetness and spiciness and the Paua has that nice sweetness with it as well and with the dumplings you put in a bit of chilli and the Thai dipping sauce it seems to work quite nicely with it, it gives a nice balance. Mulled Pinot Gris for me when it's at its best is spicy red apple, subtle pear flavours and the um, blossom aromas that come through with it. On the palate so you get a little nice textured amounts from the alcohol because it is reasonably high alcohol still. And with that sweetness and the spicy finish, it just gives a really nice warm finish. Um, so it's textured and com complex. Yeah, it really plays off that oiliness in the Pinot Gris with that sort of that fullness of the, the power. Or abalone. Or abalone. <laughs> Our mud house style when it comes to Pinot Gris is heading towards more the Chardonnay style than it is the Sauv Blanc, so we're sort of trying to encourage a lot more complexity in winemaking, um, adulterated tools, so to speak. So one thing a lot of people don't know about Pinot Gris is how well it can age. Um, our Mudhouse Pinot Gris would age really nicely for the next five or so years, um, and the primary fruit characters of pear and apple and the florals will mellow into some really nice stone fruit and nutty characters and it'll just Quince. yeah and the palette will just add some complexity it'll be yeah well worth putting down for a few years. Indeed. Here's to a good vintage. Indeed.